hello and welcome to a new vlog my name is sophie in case you're new around here josh and i are actually about to head out for a date night at disney springs which i am so excited about we're just gonna probably snack around i feel like we're not gonna go to like a full-on dinner because we only made this plan last night and then it was kind of too late to reserve anywhere i tried to book a table for morimoto because we love that but josh said we shouldn't go there because we've been there too many times um but there wasn't space available anyway so then i booked one for stk which i've never been to i know it's a steakhouse and we're not big like meat eaters but i think they have lots of amazing like sides and things so i definitely have been wanting to try it out but i also feel like we don't need to do like a big fancy date night dinner tonight i feel like we can just kind of walk around and like snack on a bunch of different things i feel like that's sometimes more fun because you can like try more stuff and just walk and it'd be more of like an active kind of date so i think that's probably what we're going to do unless we get there and we're like too hungry and then we just want to sit down and eat at stk because they do have a reservation they're definitely going to be stopping by the aaron mckenna bakery it is so good it's all vegan gluten-free refined sugar-free like magical cakes pastries and things like that i keep feeling like i have a bug crawling on my leg but it's not oh there's a thread before we head out on our date night i wanted to show you a couple of the new makeup things that i got in recently from sephora in my last vlog i like went to sephora and grabbed a bunch of stuff but i didn't show you what i got because there just wasn't enough time in the last vlog so i thought now is a good time to sit down and show you what i got um i am gonna kind of get ready as i go because i didn't really fully get ready this morning i put on tinted sunscreen bronzer mascara and that was it this morning so i want to like freshen up my face it feels weird like putting like doing makeup on top of like kind of makeup already like on top of bronzer it feels kind of weird but i'm just gonna go with it because i don't have that much time and i don't have time to like wash my face and start fresh so we're just gonna roll with it okay this is one of the new products that i got the other day it's the ilia super serum skin tint spf 40 with niacinamide and squalene and hyaluronic acid so it's like skincare and makeup in one which is my favorite thing you know get that dual action it also the fact that it has spf 40 in it is so amazing because like i said it's like skips the whole step of my makeup routine in the morning because i always put on spf i do definitely feel strange putting this on on top of what i already put on this morning i put on my regular tinted moisturizer or sorry tinted sunscreen um because it's just a little bit easier to blend out and it's not as much coverage or anything but i just drip it onto my face like that and then i use this it cosmetics brush and blend it out it definitely feels thicker ah, and more coverage than my La Roche Posay SPF 50, which I still really, really love this, but this is more, sorry, this one, the Ilia Skin Tint, is a lot more of a, like, more like foundation versus a tint for me. I feel like it's a lot more coverage than just a tint, even though it's called a tint, it's a lot more coverage. The shade that I have in this is ST Matera, and I think it's nice. It's a little bit dark for me, I feel like, but with summer coming, I feel like it's totally fine and it blends in really, really well. By the way, every single new product that I bought, basically, was inspired by or influenced by Taylor from The Little Blonde Book on Instagram. I just recently discovered her a couple weeks ago and she, her makeup and her skin is just ultimate goals. Like, I literally just want everything that she talks about. Like, I've literally purchased like five things because she uses them every day and raves about them and she did not lie with this product i just think it is the most beautiful natural glowy like just looks like your skin and then the fact that it has spf 40 and like different skincare ingredients and Ilia is a very clean natural brand um you just you cannot go wrong also probably should have mentioned this at the very beginning but i have a cold sore here that's healing it's not really cold sore anymore it's just like the scab left over and it's so annoying because it's taking forever to heal but whatever okay now i'm gonna go in with my nars radiant creamy concealer i haven't used this in a really long time but taylor uses it so i was like you know what? i'm gonna repurchase this and see how it goes she uses the shade vanilla which is a which is the shade that i got because it's a lot lighter for under the eyes and i just want to like brighten up i usually use my kosa's um revealer concealer in the shade three 
which is a little bit brighter than the rest of my makeup but i feel like this is just like next level brightness and so i wanted to try to start using this also i'm almost out of this one it's basically dried up so i thought it was time to try a new concealer anyway even though i've definitely tried this in the past i don't know just because taylor was using it i was like you know what i'm gonna give it another go see it's like way brightening i don't know if it's like too brightening i feel like i just need to keep blending it out by the way josh is in the bedroom there um steaming some clothes so if you hear like a hissing sound that's josh with a steamer <laughs> i forgot to mention i did just get it in the mini just in case i wasn't like obsessed with it um i just bought the mini one because it's like half the price as the full size so i think that was a good idea another product that taylor recommended that i got in a mini size just to make sure i tried it out it's like a trial period buying a mini um it's the charlotte tilbury setting powder this is what it looks like it's very very tiny and cute I believe it's called the Airbrush Flawless Filter Setting Powder. Um, I'm just going to take the same little beauty sponge and dip in there because this is what Taylor does. And just set my under eyes because I like to keep the rest of my skin really nice and glowy. I might go like between my eyebrows and the sides of my nose and my chin a little bit but just like being very particular because I want to keep most of my skin nice and glowy. I've never been much of a powder girl. Like I never used to use setting powder. I used the Laura Mercier translucent powder a couple times, but never like super consistently. Only if I'm doing like a lot of makeup and I just like want it to last. But so far I'm really, really loving it. And I'm probably gonna buy the big one when I run out of this. So we'll see though. Okay, the last thing that I got that Taylor said I needed to try is this Rare Beauty setting mist makeup setting mist it's also like a priming mist um i've used it uh, for a few days now and i am fully obsessed i think it really works and it makes your your face just look so like nice and dewy and glowy i have never been one to use a setting mist ever i just I don't know I thought it was only for like really heavy makeup or for like a wedding or something but it is just nice to know that like my bronzer is not going to move as much as it would if I didn't use it same with like concealer and everything it just kind of like locks in your makeup I also feel like it adds a little bit more glow on top of my bronzer any like powder that I use so I really like this stuff I'm going to use it as the last step but I just wanted to include that as I was talking about the rest of those products inspired by taylor i will link her instagram below by the way and all the products that i talk about i will also link below in the description box okay i'm gonna go in with some more bronzer this is the bronzer that i always use and i think taylor actually uses this too but i just so happen to already own it and it is the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer and i have the shade nude bronze light hello josh i have this like weird little mini fluffy brush i have no idea where it came from but i've had it forever I really need to hurry up because we gotta get going. This is another new makeup product I got, but I think Julia Havens is the one who influenced me to buy this. I literally don't buy anything unless I like have heard about it through an influencer. <laughs> um, but this is the I Love palette by Sephora. It was very inexpensive. I ordered it off the website and I will just do, I'm like not a big eyeshadow person at all but I'm trying to become more comfortable with it. So I'm just using this like very light brown, neutral brown shade and just doing what I think I'm supposed to do, which is like going into the outer corner edge, but kind of the whole eyelid at one same time. I don't know. I don't know how people do this. And I'm just using the small end of this foundation and concealer brush. It's supposed to be for concealer, but I always use a beauty blender instead. So it's my eyeshadow brush. <laughs> okay, I mean, I think it looks good. I don't know if it made much of a difference, but cool. Now I do want to add a little bit of eyeliner. And this is just the Sephora retractable eyeliner pen in dark brown. Eyeliner is definitely my least favorite step of makeup because I always feel like it messes up my whole look if I don't get it perfectly right. And because I already have on mascara, I feel like it's way harder to do it so i might just like skip this step with you guys and show you when it's done okay i also just put on another little coat of mascara because 
it was just not looking great um i'm kind of in between mascaras at the moment i do not love the one i have i just used like a mac one that i had laying around but i my good thrive cosmetics one dried up um and i'm not like really wanting to buy it again i don't know why because i did really like it but i'm just kind of over it you know so i need to find a new one but um if you have any good mascara recommendations please let me know. I actually do love the Kosas mascara a lot. Like it's my perfect dream mascara as far as like the look that it gives me. Um, but it transfers terribly. Like the second I put it on, it starts like getting all over my eyelid and my like eyebrows. Like everything's black everywhere. Maybe because a lot of the makeup and products I use are kind of oily. Um, so... I don't really know what to do about that. I can't just be like having black stuff all over my face. I did not mean for this to turn into like a full on get ready with me situation. I just kind of wanted to show you my new makeup, but I just, it just escalated. But anyway, the stuff I just was putting on my eyelids is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Champagne. And honestly, it's really pretty, but it's very subtle. Like I would have to pack it on for it to like look like anything. Okay, and the last new makeup product that i got is this kosa's air brow it's supposed to fluff them up and make them look nice and separated and i'm very excited to use this because i've never used it before it just came in the mail today because it was out of stock in the sephora store so i had them send it to me and it just arrived it definitely looks nice and fluffy but i already had some brow gel in from earlier oh okay i think i really like this I have to like press them down so the hairs like stick and stay in place. Okay, I think I like this a lot. I actually got this because I tried the tinted one in store a couple weeks ago and I really loved like the formula of it and how it felt, but I wasn't sure about the tint because my brows are already super dark and I didn't want them to look like just too intense all the time. So I waited till I got the clear one and I think I did a good job because I really am liking the way that they look. They're super fluffy. I'm gonna have to give it a couple more tries, but so far they definitely look fluffy and separated and it seems like they're hopefully gonna stay in place. Also the packaging is really cute. It's like holographic. Kosas always comes through. They're amazing, except for they need to figure out their mascara situation because it's perfect mascara, except that it like gets everywhere and never dries last step is a little bit of pillow talk on the lips and i'm gonna put a little bit of the kosas lip oil in the shade fruit juice just like the tiniest bit on top and it's the perfect color and finish for me i really want to get this lip oil in more shades because there's so many pretty shades but they're always sold out at my sephora I just order it. Oh my gosh, I cannot forget the last step is my setting spray. I feel like I'm spraying too much, but I feel like it's like not really getting on my face. Maybe I should spray closer. Okay, that's my makeup for tonight. Feels like haphazard kind of get ready with me. I barely like put more concealer where I needed it, but it's fine. I'm running a little bit late now, so I'm gonna put my shoes on and then I'll show you my little outfit and then we can go to Disney Springs. This is my little outfit for date night Disney Springs. It's this little free people dress. It's super comfy. It's got fun big sleeves. It also has pockets, which are always the best thing on a dress. My little Zara bag that I wear all the time. Cute little Reeboks that I wear all the time. All right, we've got to get going. We'll see you at Disney Springs. We just parked at Disney Springs. I've got my husband here. He's looking very handsome. Did you almost just fall backwards? Maybe. I think it's still like the first week that they've said that you don't have to wear masks anymore while you're walking around. You still have to wear them inside shops um, in restaurants and stuff unless you're like sitting down obviously. But you're allowed to just walk through like the main Disney Springs area without a mask now, which is so flippin' exciting. Like, you don't even have to wear them going through security. They're not doing temperature checks anymore. So, it's a very 
happy time. You still have to bring one though, just, you know, so you can go into shops and stuff. Anyway, I'm just feeling really happy because <sighs> I'm not gonna get mask knee. So good. No mask knee, are you kidding me? It feels so amazing. Doesn't it feel amazing? Yeah, we're at the time we've come here, it's like struggling to stay alive. I know, especially now that it's getting so hot. This is amazing. We are just feeling so normal and happy right now. Doesn't it feel so amazing? Yeah. Isn't it weird that we're like so amazed that we don't have to wear masks? I mean, that's amazing. the world we live in now, but it's so nice. Let's go back in. Okay, we're gonna pop into Origins because Josh likes their skincare. Oh my gosh, okay, this is That's where the M&M store is, yes. Okay. I literally haven't even seen it since it's open. Because we never come on the side. The cigar store. Sure, sure, I need to go there. I don't know why I'm so excited about coming to this area, because we just never come over here, and it's actually so fun. Yeah. And there's an M&M store. I'm gonna go check it out. They have every kind of M&M you could ever imagine, and then more. Like white chocolate M&M's. Don't tell me about that. White chocolate M&M's. We might have to try those. You can get your face printed on M&M's. You can get any photo uploaded onto the M&M that you want. Truth be told, I'm really not even an M&M person. I just like the peanut M&M's. But those are the only ones that I really like, so. So you're an M&M person. Oh my goodness. The store is massive, but there's, there's a gigantic line here. Holy moly. I don't know if we're going to be able to go in tonight. No, let's come back when things open. Fully. Come back when it's not like so busy. Open like fully, yeah. No way. Pretty cool though. So this is right next, or right across the street from House of Blues, which has been there forever. Cirque du Soleil. Anyway, all right. Uh, that was back, a fail. Back we go. Yeah, let's go back. So that, that's where we used to park, like back over that way. Uh, and you would walk in past that big tent. What is city I don't know. I'm not quite sure. A bar? Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that many ads for the new Corella DeVille movie. And I love Emma Stone, so I'm very excited to see that. Although I don't know how we're supposed to root for a lady who like kills puppies, you know? Inside the Disney style store, and it's so cute in here. Oh my gosh. There's neat socks. Yay. Okay, we're at this little churro kiosk, and they have all these crazy churros. And Josh just ordered a fruity pebble churro. That was yeah, surprising. You suggested it. Act like it's in my. I said it sounds interesting, and not that I want one. Did you want it? Sure. Okay. We're gonna have a snack. Wow. He just shook it up with some fruity pebble dust. So here is the fruity pebbles churro. Really thanks. It's good. Is it delish? Does it taste very fruity? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. That's good, yeah? Oh my god. The churro is really soft and nice. It's not super dry. And the fruity pebble flavor is strong. That is where we had reservations for, but we decided we're just gonna snack instead and just like go to a bunch of different smaller quick service places and just have lots of little treats. So 
the churro was the first treat and now I'm definitely wanting to get a margarita from somewhere and maybe go to the Polite Pig for some Brussels sprouts. We were passing by Gideon's and I was hoping that maybe we could get in the virtual queue or something but look at the line. <laughs> it goes really far back that way. I don't think we have any hope because we just fly by the seat of our pants here. But anyway. We just got to Morimoto Street Food because I heard it was amazing. I mean, we've been to Morimoto, the actual restaurant is amazing. So I wanted to pick up something here, but they closed 15 minutes ago. I'm so disappointed. They closed at eight. So it's good to know. Next time. Dang it. So this is the main Morimoto that I am obsessed with. Me and my cousin Macy have eaten here together so many times. Um, I mean, Josh has been here before, but anyway, it's so, so, so good. I just checked just to see, just in case if they made a had a table for us, but they don't. They're fully booked for the evening, as we suspected. You can get over that sunset, it's so awesome. But we're just getting in line for the polite pig. I'm very excited, this place is so good. This is the line for polite pig that we're getting. She said it will be about 20 minutes, so hopefully that's correct. to try while we wait for food. <laughs> These are a bunch of like different barbecue sauces that they have here. Is it good? Yeah, all good, yeah. They're all good. This is a barbecue ranch. This is some sort of mama's gold, it says. Some sort of sweet barbecue sauce, or maybe that one's sweet barbecue sauce. Yes. Roasted beef, Caesar, Brussels, and the baked beans. Thank you. Are we missing anything? Nope. Enjoy. Okay, we got a side Caesar. Roasted beets look amazing, a side of Beautiful Brussels sprouts and baked beans. This looks so good. We both got great for margaritas. They're really delicious. This margarita is like really bubbly, like it's carbonated, and I was not expecting that at all, but it's so, so good and refreshing and not like, not too in your face. It's really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna take one bite of everything, but you know what I think, and then I put it in my camera away so we can enjoy this little date night dinner. Any Brussels sprout. Oh my god. That might be the best Brussels sprout I've ever had in my life. That is perfection. No, that's pretty close. Perfection. Even better with the sauce. Josh said the Brussels sprouts are even better if you dip it into the barbecue ranch sauce, so I'm going to try that. Barbecue ranch sauce. That is the most magical sauce I've ever tasted. The barbecue ranch, can we buy it? Oh my gosh. We gotta go get some more. They have like a full on like little sauce buffet that you can like get as much sauce as you want, which is great. Brussels sprout has like mandarin oranges on it, it looks like feta cheese. Josh to get that one, but he doesn't want it. We're in line for Aaron McKenna Bakery. So excited! Gonna get some 
some treats. This will probably be our last stop before we head home, sadly. I want to stay longer. But honestly, everything kind of is starting to close, I feel like, around now. I know it's so busy here. Bakery rolls. A bakery free from harmful ingredients. Keep it apart. What are we gonna do? I never thought about doing the clear. Or lobster. What's that? Cookie monster? Strawberry shortcake is a is a must. Sorry, Yes, please. <laughs> you clear? Yeah, please. Anything else? No, that'd be it. Thank you. Alright, right, we're gonna sit here and have a couple bites of our treats. How's the eclair? That's because it's pretty dense though. Dense? It's usually supposed to be like light. Oh, well maybe it's because it's vegan and stuff. Maybe. Can I have a bite? It tastes very good. It's just not like... The texture's not light? No. This is what it looks like. It definitely feels heavy. Have you had normal eclair? It's really good. But it's not like your classic eclair texture. It tastes like really like cakey. It's like cake, not like an eclair. Which is still really good, but I wasn't expecting it. This is a strawberry shortcake. It is my favorite thing I've ever gotten from there. It is so unbelievably delicious. Do you love it? <laughs> it's so good. You have to order it two days in advance, oh, yeah. and they will sell you a whole cake. But she Any any flavor I feel like that you want. This piece you could easily cut into two and it'd be plenty for two people. Mm. Oh, good bite. We are two very happy kids eating strawberry shortcake on a bench at Disney. We're just heading out of Disney Springs right now, but look at the full moon. It's so amazing. It's so bright. You can't, obviously can't see it properly in the camera. It's the next day now. I actually just finished editing up this vlog and I realized I didn't really have a good end to it and I also kind of wanted to just explain a couple things. I realized that in the last vlog that I posted, I was talking all about my raw vegan cleanse that I was gonna go on and then now this vlog, I'm like eating all sorts of things and like having whatever I want at Disney Springs. So it might've been a little confusing, but basically I did do a good little stretch of being raw vegan for I think like four or five days. It felt amazing, I absolutely loved it. Um, and again, I think I'm just gonna have to figure out how to like balance it well into my lifestyle because on the weekends and like on date nights and stuff and special occasions, I'm obviously gonna want to have other things um, and I don't wanna deprive myself. I explained in the last vlog, but I know that it's like not sustainable at all for me to want to be 100% raw vegan all the time or even like eat super, super healthy and clean like salads all the time, especially when we're out at restaurants. It's one of the things that makes me the happiest and like brings me so much joy is going out to eat and trying new food. I think you could tell, like I just get so happy around the food. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to clear that up. I did do my little cleanse. It was a little shorter than I had wanted it to be initially, but it's fine. Like I'm just living my life and I don't want to put a lot of stress and pressure on myself, especially around the food and like even just my body image and fitness and everything. I'm just trying to be more balanced, add in a lot more good stuff, but still enjoy myself when I'm out like on a date or you know, and just trying not to have that like unhealthy all or nothing mindset towards food and wellness. Um, so yeah, that's just where I'm at. I kind of just felt like I needed to explain that for some reason, not that I need to, but you know, just so it makes sense since you might've seen the last vlog that I posted and be confused now, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I have been loving doing these little braids lately. They're just so easy and quick to do and my hair was wet this morning. I just washed it and I, I've been trying not to put so much heat on my hair so I just like threw them in these little braids and then hopefully when I take them out I'll have like cute wavy hair. We'll see. Oh also the mask situation was so nice. So I would say probably like 30 to 40 percent of people are still wearing masks. Um, and I think that's just because obviously people are still a little bit nervous, but we were so excited to be maskless. Like we were totally ready for it. Felt totally comfortable. Um, and it just feels so good to have some normality back and just feel like regular times again. Um, most people would have their mask like under their chin and then just pull it up if they went to a shop. I did see a lot of people going into stores and the restaurants without wearing masks and they were not enforcing that at all. Like Josh, when we went to Origins, he just totally forgot to put his on and they didn't care or say anything. So 
and there was nobody else in the store with us it was just us and the employees but nobody was being strict or enforcing whether you wore a mask inside or not so that was kind of interesting but anyway that's kind of all i wanted to catch you up to speed with Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was another long one, but hopefully you like long vlogs. Actually, let me know in the comments if you like long vlogs or more like 10 to 15 minute vlogs. Um, I personally like watching longer vlogs, so I'm into that, but let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more vlogs, and I will see you in another one very soon. Bye!